Hello there, Amanda here. There's some commotion in the next room. My husband has the day off and he's hanging out with my daughter watching a movie. So that might be kind of loud, but I wanted to try to do this while they were preoccupied. So let's see if I can get this done in the next couple minutes. I have a Dollar Tree haul today. Um, it's very small and it's kind of all over the place. So, um, I just picked these things up this weekend and they have Halloween stuff out, fall stuff out, Christmas stuff out. Um, so I actually have stuff from a couple different sections. It's all over the place. It's not just homeschool stuff either. So um, the first thing I picked up is for Halloween actually. Last year I was looking for this creepy cloth stuff high and low and if you don't know what it is it's like this gauzy stuff I don't know I just I want to hang it up in the corners of my house and I could not find it anywhere last year and I mean it's the first week of September and I found it at Dollar Tree. So that's probably why I couldn't find any last year. It was probably just got all gone by the time I went shopping. So I picked up two of those. Um, the next thing I got are these wooden acorns. There are eight of them in here. And actually, this is for fall decor. But we are doing a year in the hundred acre wood. And... I thought this might be cute for decorating just like our classroom area as like woody, wood theme. I don't know, they're acorns, that's cute, right? I had a plan, so I bought them, I don't know. Um, the next thing I got actually, I'm so excited about, I had no idea this box is messed up because it got stepped on, but this is I know that there's a brand that sells these and I don't remember what they're called but they're very popular and it's just little plastic animals in a box and these were at Dollar Tree now I know they're not gonna be as amazing quality and the colors are definitely off and the sizes are a little weird like there's like two different sized horses or whatever, and the horse is like three times as big as the cow. So it's not incredibly accurate, but for a dollar, I thought this was an amazing find. So I got farm animals and I got wild animals. So in the farm animals, there are cows, horses, sheep, like a goat, yeah. And then in wild animals, there's a hippo, a giraffe, a monkey, a tiger, a lion. And again, the color's not right. And the, there's like a gorilla in there that's smaller than the monkey that's in there. <laughs> so, but that's cool. And this, is, this one says it's a pack of 10 and this is a pack of eight. Next, I picked up these they are called button file bags. So these are like document holders. And this is a pack of three for a buck, which is why I picked them up. I actually prefer the ones that are zippers and mm, expand a little bit more. I bought two packs of these, so I'll show you this pack because I already opened it. It's just this size, but it doesn't expand on the sides. It doesn't like open up on the sides, which I prefer the ones that do open up so I can fit more in them. But these are big enough to fit an entire sheet of paper and there's still some extra space here. So I really enjoy these for organizing different um, units, science units or history units or whatever that I'm doing. So I got two packs of three. They are smaller so I will have some that I'll probably take the stuff out and put them in here so that I can keep the bigger ones for bigger units. And you can get some for a dollar a piece. I just picked these up because there were three in a pack, so I, that was a better deal. 
even though they're not exactly what I wanted. And then I found this. This is a beautiful book. I've never heard of it. I don't know who this guy is. John Wesley Powell, The One-Armed Explorer. I don't know who that is, but this book was originally $17.99. And it's a hardback with a dust cover. And the artwork is very nice. Um, so I figured this is not a person I knew about in history, but it would be really interesting for my daughter to learn about. It said that he's the first, let's see, he led the first scientific expedition down the Colorado River and through the Grand Canyon. Never heard of the guy. So this will be fun and educational for me as well. I forgot, I also picked this Halloween thing up. So just kidding, I have two different Halloween decorations. Um, this is a sign. It doesn't actually say how long it is. I guess I could figure that out for you. It is almost two feet long tall almost two feet tall and it just says beware now these a lot of the Dollar Tree decorations have glitter on them and some people are really opposed to that I don't mind this is not one of those really brightly colored gaudy kind of decorations so the glitter doesn't really bother me I think it's cute as is and I will have it put it up just like this a lot of people will buy the holiday de decorations from Dollar Tree just to DIY them into something else. If I didn't like them, why would I buy them? <laughs> okay, the last thing I have. Jessica, if you're watching, don't. Stop here. <laughs> Giving Jessica a chance to click off before I start talking about this. So I am actually preparing to get things ready for my nephew's birthday. And I've been told that his birthday theme would be ninja themed. And I saw this at Dollar Tree and thought it was so cute. So it's a book called Ninja Attack of the Clan. And it is very cool. First of all, the cover is like matte in the background and then all the letters and the character is like a shimmery kind of material. So it's pretty well made. This book was originally $16.99 and it's very cute. So this is just the inside cover. The book itself is like a graphic novel or comic book style with the different um, panels with the different panels so it's very cute and since I'm doing a whole ninja theme and I needed a gift eventually his birthday is not for a couple months but I just saw this and I couldn't pass it up so and these are both really incredibly lo good looking books for the dollar she standards <laughs> um, so I don't know. And the Dollar Tree that I usually go to doesn't usually have that many really great books. But this time there were so many good looking books. I wasn't in the market for buying any books, so I only picked up the two. And they're both for kids. But overall, there was a lot of good books this time. But that's all I have today, so thank you so much for watching.